Hello friends, super excited to jump into this monthly bulk haul at Woolies and Coles for our vegan family of four. Super excited to show you the vegan friendly items that you can get from the supermarkets and I'm sure some of these are gonna be a massive surprise for you as well. This bulk haul came in just over $300. Got a handful of items that'll last us maybe a couple days, maybe a couple weeks or the entire month. So let's jump into this haul right away. Here we go friends, massive bulk monthly haul. Vegan items galore, some little treat items here and there, but let's jump into this massive haul with this tiny little coal shop first off. We're just using coals at the moment, predominantly just from items that you can't get from Woolies or items that are on special at Coles. So these Fry Stars and Moons were about half price, which is fantastic, just having them into the freezer. Quick, easy, accessible snack for the kids or ourselves, just chuck them in the air fryer so you can't go too bad there with just a half price on these. And that is the same with the Meat Co little plant-based strips as well. I've actually been chucking these into noodles, kind of like bulk it up, add a bit more protein. So when it is on special, it is a great purchase there. I'm a little bit worried about this lonely Nature's Kitchen plant-based cheese here. This was the only Nature's Kitchen plant-based cheese that I was able to find at our Coles. If you know our shopping routine, we generally get a couple of these, some of the grated as well. So hopefully Nature's Kitchen isn't being deleted because this is by far the best vegan cheese out on the market in my opinion. I had to grab some of the grated cheese so we've got the cheer plant-based cheese here as well. So just a small little coal shop here. Got our fruit and veg, which generally lasts us about a week here. So fresh produce, We've got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, avocados are fantastic at the moment. So little bits and pieces here to get us by for the week. So let's move on to Woolies now. So we've got the firm tofu from Macro. This is by far the best tofu out on the market and so affordable as well, really high in protein. If you're not buying the Macro one, if you have not tried it yet, highly recommend this one. I've tried a lot of different brands. This one is definitely the best out on the market. So other tofu is fortified with calcium as well. This one unfortunately isn't, but nevertheless really high in protein there. You may not have realized, but actually saladas are vegan friendly. Someone actually messaged the other day saying, I assumed that saladas had dairy in them. No, none of the saladas have actual dairy in it. So that is a fantastic little cracker snack there. Just got some of the risotto rice down here. Got the TVP. So if you have not got onto the TVP bandwagon, definitely do get onto it. If you check out my website, thatvegandad.net, there's some fantastic, super simple TVP recipes that you can try. I also have a TVP video as well, showing you some fantastic, easy recipes using TVP. It is like a mince-like texture. Just hydrate it up a little bit and it gets that mince-like texture. So if you're still buying mock meat minces, forget about it because this is super cheap, super affordable and texture, protein, is unreal. Savoy's are vegan friendly, got some of the Biscoff spread here. So we generally get a jar with this every couple months, maybe three or four months we get a Biscoff spread. So generally using it just out of the jar. There's some Biscoff hot cross buns at the moment as well. So I haven't actually been able to find them yet, but they're meant to be the bomb. Over here, just got some co compostable sandwich bags. So Melly Laura plant-based ham here. So that is always a winner. Just one packet of that. Elbow pasta here, got these really awesome apricot bites here so these are gluten-free vegan friendly so they come in little individual packs here little cubes of apricot they're very delicious great for lunch boxes or just taking them to work so just a handful of them in the packet nutritional yeast um probably going through a packet of this probably once a month at the moment so it's actually really high in protein also fantastic for your b12 and also fantastic if you're good in the kitchen making your recipes this gives your food a little bit of a cheesy sort of taste as well over here you've got the mango flavored jelly which is vegan friendly so the woolies mango flavored jelly is a vegan friendly so i've got two packets of them they also have a tropical jelly as well which is vegan friendly so if you did not know there's a couple vegan friendly jelly cups available these days a couple packets of udon noodles got the ramen over here got the dumplings down here so these go on special all the time 24 pieces in there these are fantastic in lunch boxes as well you boil them up in the morning wrap them up a little bit like yes they're cold by lunchtime for the kids but like cold dumplings are still fantastic 4 and 20 meat free pies always super convenient to have in the freezer textures 
beautiful. The taste is pretty spot on as well. What you would remember a 4 and 20 pie being like. So this is great as well and actually goes on special quite often as well. So good dairy free ice cream. This is fantastic that this is back. Good to see some vegan ice cream back again and again another item that goes on special. So a little bit more affordable when it gets into that $7 mark rather than closer to that $10 mark. So that is great there. Just got some lemon juice, got some barbecue shapes which are vegan friendly. The Worcestershire sauce is vegetable base which is interesting but nevertheless fantastic for vegans so that is an accidentally vegan friendly item coconut milk here got a couple cans of these dairy free up and goes if you have not tried these these are fantastic really spot on in taste reminiscent of the dairy base up and goes if you ever had them so these are fantastic great little bit of protein in there as well about nine grams of protein in these come in the vanilla ice as well as chocolate diced tomatoes here just a couple of them got some lentils stocking up on our little legumes here four tins of the chickpeas said it before but what i've been doing just draining a tin of the chickpeas chuck it in a bowl chuck in a couple tablespoons of olive oil tablespoon of the nutritional yeast bit of salt, a bit of onion powder, mix that around, chuck it in the air fryer for about 15 minutes at about 180 degrees Celsius. Mix it around halfway through and then you get delicious crispy chickpeas. Fantastic snack and I am loving making that. So like you can mix it up a little bit, you can add in some lime, you can add in whatever you like. Add in some, some paprika curry, chickpeas would be fantastic as well highly recommend that recipe so so delicious got some of the Makona satch coffee satchels here which is fantastic the soy cappuccino got a couple of these Vita soy soy milkies and then didn't actually have any of the Kelsey plus Vita soy so just got a couple of these fridge ones just ready to go as well so these were actually on special they actually worked out cheaper than the long life ones but I don't really have a lot of room in the fridge at the moment so just got a couple of these here damn here plantain have changed their packet on these snitties but these are honestly so fantastic massive protein in there super big as honestly so big as well check these bad guys out so hopefully with the new packaging it doesn't mean new formula but nevertheless this is a great way to make your palmas v2 burgers they're a very very good option not the best option i still find beyond burgers to be the best out in the market per like the beyond either out of the supermarkets now or super expensive so to get these for about pretty sure off the top of my head maybe seven eight dollars for four can't go wrong with that there. We've got some frozen peas, butter flavored microwave popcorn, accidentally vegan friendly as well. So if you did not know, the Woolies microwave popcorn and the Coles microwave popcorn butter flavor are both vegan friendly. Actually, even while we're talking about it, so is the Audi brand as well. We've got the Massel stock cubes here, a couple packets of them, so they were on special. Probably the best stock, in my opinion, the entire range of Massel even the baby, even the chicken are all vegan friendly, which is fantastic. If you're ever in doubt, check on the side here, no animal content. So that is great. There's some quince paste. I'm gonna do a cheese night. So just got some quince paste, which is vegan friendly. Golden Gate Times plant base are now available at Woolies and these are on special. So we've got another place to kind of look between Coles and Woolies, whoever has it on special, grab it from them. Proud and Punched, they have a range of these icy, creamy icy poles, which are fantastic, go on special quite a lot as well. The Kraft Mac and Cheese, vegan mac and cheese, quite good, probably not the best in my opinion. If you've ever tried the brand Plant C Mac and Cheese, that is probably my go-to. It's only available in IGA or online. It's about $10 for a packet though, so it is pretty expensive, but this, Affordable, $4.50, cannot go wrong with that for a quick, easy snack. Got these plant-based brioche buns, four in there, really great value, and level up your burger game there. Dried apricots, a packet of them. Dried fruit is fantastic, so are your Brazil nuts. Just a big packet there where you have one, two of these a day, fantastic for your selenium. Brain help as well with the walnuts, so these are fantastic. So these will, these packets will hopefully last a couple months there. And just finally, some brown sugar. So this came in just over $300. This is our vegan monthly bulk haul, and we'll do some top-up shops throughout the month for about 
maybe about $100 or just over. So there we go, friends. That was our bulk haul at Woolies and a little bit at Coles. Coles is definitely that you know, treat item that you can't get from Woolies sort of shop. And I really hope the Nature's Kitchen vegan cheese doesn't get deleted. I was a little bit worried that I could only find one packet of the cheese slices. So hopefully they just got some problems at the moment and they work them out. But anyway, friends, I really hope you found this video insightful, showing you of the accessible vegan friendly items that you can find at Woolies and Coles, hopefully making your life a lot easier as well. If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend checking out this other Woolies haul right here, giving you even more ideas of some fantastic vegan friendly items at Woolies and Coles. But anyway, friends, until next time, I will catch you very, very soon.